So we're deriving with kinematic equations, we start from a graph of velocity against time, and uh, we consider um, an object that is moving at some initial velocity, and it increases in velocity to reach some final velocity, Vf, and that takes place over a period of time um, for that change in velocity. Now, uh, two of these equations that we're trying to derive from this graph of velocity against time are distance or displacement. Um, so we've got this one, and we've got this one. So uh, how we find that from the graph is the area under the graph gives us the displacement uh, and one of those formulas formula use the trapezium formula um, to work out uh, to develop the equation. Uh, the other one uses a few other characteristics of the graph, such as the gradient uh, being the acceleration. Um, actually, I'm not sure if it uses that. We'll get to that. We'll see. Um, moving down. Uh, so, looking at the trapezium formula. Um, we can see that uh, the, the two sides, uh, we have one of side length Vi and one of side length Vf. So uh, a trapezium formula is basically the average of two sides times by, um, by the other side length. Uh, so it's like a square's length times width, but this time we have to take the average uh, width. So it's the length T times the average width. The average width is Vi plus Vf divided by 2. So that's your average width times by the time. And that equals the area under the graph of the displacement of the distance in this case. And that gives us this formula here really nicely. So uh, if we're looking at the, the other one, um, let's just scroll down a little bit. Um, the area under the graph... Uh, in this case, we can split it into two sections. Um, what colour should we go for? We'll go for blue. Two sections. So, um, just going back up to the graph again, we can, we can draw a line across here. And we've got the bottom section, which is a, a rectangle of side length VI and T. So, VIT gives us one section. And then we've got uh, an, an area of a triangle for this top section. So the area of the triangle, triangle is half base times the height. So I'll just go down and draw those two things together to give us the start of an equation. So we've got uh, the area of the square. So let's write this out. The distance is the area of the square, vi times t, plus the area of that triangle but let's just go have a close look at the triangle bit um, area of the triangle is half the base times the height so um, half of the base is half of time write that in there half of okay we might have lost a little bit there because uh, we had a little glitch but uh, just in case we missed it the first section here is um, the uh, is the square or rectangular bit at the bottom of this graph and then we're adding to that the triangular part there's a horizontal blue line which has shown us here it is so um, the area under the graph uh, is that square plus the area at the top part which is half times the time times the, the height in this case the height is um, the final velocity minus the initial velocity. Let's just go back up to have a quick look and to check that out. Um, so you can see here on, on one side, um, or the height here is Vf minus Vi. I hope that's what I wrote. Um, now, uh, if we go back to um, our, one of our more simpler equations, which is acceleration is change in velocity over the time, or the change in time, if you, like, if you prefer. Triangle means change. Um, another way to write that is the change in velocity is the final minus the initial, divided by the time, change in time. 
and uh, we've got a section in there uh, let's re yeah we'll rearrange it in this way um, moving it across just a little bit um, we can take this uh, VF and VI section and compare it to here but to, to make this equation fit in the way that we can substitute it in we're going to have to go A times the time times the change in time um, equals our change in velocity and remember the change in velocity is that VF uh, VF minus VI Okay, so this is where we can take that AT part and put it in there instead and we end up with uh, the distance equals VIT plus half T times AT you can see where this is going uh, D equals VIT plus half T times AT you can see that T and the T part will complete itself by being a half a t squared and that's where we get the second equation from um, we'll look at the other equations in a subsequent video, this is getting a bit too long